This is the guts of a Chichen lighting R14 LED retrofit lamp. Got this as an experimental thing as a retrofit for a fixture, not necessarily because LED, because not really much of a fan of this particular stupid fad, just because the reliability of these things really isn't uh, known yet, just because they're sufficiently new on the market that really things haven't been worked out as far as reliability where they are or aren't appropriate. Uh, but just to get more light out of a particular fixture, which I will show in a later part of this video, uh, this one was defective. I turned it on, there was a momentary flash, and then it stopped working. I tested all the LEDs, they are all good. It's just a standard thing. Um, basically, three series strings of three all wired in parallel. Uh, fairly standard thing, basically, so that it's... Uh, Electrically equivalent to three one one LEDs in series and the driver actually says that on the underside It is isolated interestingly enough at least it appears to be that's depending on how good the transformer is uh, but yeah, it's um, It's dead At least this bit is although I have some of these and Because I'll probably be putting in an order to Marlon P. Jones I can get more because these are not really much for like two to three dollars um but yeah, it's just a fairly simple thing if you're familiar with a lot of Big Clive's videos, which if you aren't, you should be. Uh, it's quite simple. It's a uh, SM7513 chip, one of these standard little uh, offline switcher drivers, um, resistor capacitor probably for timing adjustment, main supply reservoir cap. I did check to make sure it's discharged. And an MB6S rectifier, just a little 600 volt grids bridge. Actually quite useful little uh, things just because of how small they are. I actually got a tube of them for really cheap because of the cheapest ones Digikey sells. And uh, that little thing which passes for a fuse slash inductor except uh, this isn't microwave stuff and that's only when you'd see uh, that kind of a zigzaggy inductor. But yeah, it's just a fairly typical thing so um, good thing I got several of these because this one didn't work. And this is the fixture in question. It's one of these little R14 type clip lights. The um, thing with these is that they can only take a 25 watt lamp uh, maximum, because that's also the only size that they make for these. Um, and uh, yeah, it is sub visibly brighter than the stock lamp, but um, yeah, it's basically just an experiment to see if I could get more light out of one of these fixtures. And for reference, this is another one of these fixtures with its original 25 watt amp. Which is a bit dimmer than the LED, but uh, yeah. to a considerable degree. I mean, this is operating off my solar farm, but considering the sheer scale of it, you know, a 25 watt load isn't exactly major.